Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Troll. I am Crypto Troll, or rather, bear market troll in these times, man. We know right now we're going through a bear market, and that's okay because we're going to keep building. We're going to keep looking at these projects that continue to build out, that continue to give us value in the marketplace. And today, I'm going to talk about this new NFT project. Well, it's really very much so, I want to say old, but in the crypto space, it's kind of old. It debuted in November, it was actually the first NFT project on the Chronos blockchain. Um, and actually, I made a video about Ebisu's Bay. Shout out to Ebisu's Bay. It's the, you know, really the number one NFT marketplace on the Chronos blockchain. Really going to be the number one NFT marketplace, period, very soon as Chronos continues to grow. But like I said, shout out to Ebisu's Bay. But um, a video a while back, a couple of months ago, I did a video on Ebisu's Bay and Crow or the Crow Crow was the first NFT that I ever bought on the Chronos blockchain. And it's crazy because now that I see the roadmap and see everything that they plan on doing, I'm actually very, very much so bullish on the Crow Crow. So we're going to talk about Crow Crow. We're going to talk about how you can pretty much mint a mad crow. We're going to talk about the floor price and much, much more. But before we get into that, man, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I got different videos on all different types of things. Yeah, this says, is Terra Luna the best crypto of 2022? And of course, you know, it's clickbait, but that's a part of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But I got so much more videos just showing you how to make liquidity pools, how you can get in on the ground floor of different NFT projects and much, much more. And also follow me on Twitter as well, troll underscore crypto. This is where you can get directly in contact with me if you had any questions or you want to just create some type of dialogue. This is where I do all of that. So also, I got to let you know, this is not financial advice of any sort of nature. This is just me explaining why I did what I did, why I buy the NFTs I buy, or why I buy the cryptos that I buy, and just really doing this for pure entertainment, man. So always consult with the financial advisor before you start investing in the crypto space, because we know how volatile the crypto space is, and we know how gentle you guys' hearts are. So we don't want to over leverage ourselves and you know go crazy about crypto it's a fun space and i believe it's a space where you can get exponential growth without you know over leveraging and you know just going all the way in so that's my little spiel now let's get into it crow crow man so if you don't know mad crow is gonna drop in i believe four days on the 22nd man so let's look at it crow crow let's explore man so this is the main page. I'm just right now on their page. I'm just going to go over there before I get into the news that they just, you know, mentioned. But, you know, so we're currently we're on the home page. And then when we hit the explore, we see the different types of menu options that we have. So we got the wrap chronos pump. We got the mint uh, where you can mint the crow punk. I believe they minted those out already. Um, This was like in February. I didn't get a chance to do that because I actually just bought my second crow. And I'm going to show you guys my crows as well. But And you got the where you can mint the mad crows. This is where it's going to be able to, you know, in four days, pretty much, we will be able to start the mint of mad crow. And you can see right now, look at those different types of mad crow that you will have the opportunity or possibility to mint. So in order to get this mint, the mad crow, in order to mint any mad crow, the starting price is at 100 and it goes down from there. Like this, it doesn't go up, it actually goes down. So the starting price is 100, but it doesn't matter what the starting price is because the mint session still will be random. So you still will be a general, a minted or a random uh, generated NFT. So it doesn't matter if you the first person on the starting bid or the last person, you still have a chance to get a rare pro crow or mad crow. So the requirements, you must have two crow crows, at least 10 mad approved mad for spending and then some crow to cover gas fee. And right now I don't have any mad in this wallet as of right now, but it's in my other chronos wallet. I'm going to switch it over, send it to this wallet uh, once I get done, you know, once. The actual drop is, is in four days. So I got a little time to check that out. But so we got the mint macros. Then we're going to go to the royalties, man. So in the royalties right now, like I said, I got two crows and I have, you know, about 6.5 crow just from holding my crows. So that's something cool, man. You get to hold your crows and actually get paid to do so um, when, you know, people sell their crows and they pay you 
in royalties. And then they also have cool airdrops, man. So I'm going to get to that, but let's check out the roadmap. So when you click on roadmap, nothing pops up, but I usually just read their medium articles. I'm going to go to that one as well. So, you know, I can show you that or show you the medium articles that they have. So right, so right now, this is the latest article that they dropped. It came out on May 1st, but it gives us so much to think about. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to buy another Crow Crow, just to mint the Mad Crow. So let's get into it. The Crows are up to something. If you've been staking your Crows on the Treehouse platform for that awesome Mad Boost, this is for you. So yes, that's what I was doing. My first Crow, I actually had it on the Treehouse platform and was earning Mad at 4% just by doing or just by staking my crow. So a total of 300, I mean, or 3,333 mad crow are getting ready to take over the chronos chain and spread pure madness. The crows have been drawn by Al Miff. I don't want to say that. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Over the last month, and the collection is probably the best one we have ever released in terms of attention to detail and overall effort. There is over 200 unique attributes, and I believe the quality of work will simply speak for itself on the reveal date. So the mint conditions, we already know you need two crow crows in your wallet and spend the mad price. The two crow crows can be used unlimited times and there is no limit of mints per wallet. Then we see the purchase. We see you can purchase crow crows from EB Sue's Bay and I'm gonna show you guys EB Sue's Bay as well. And also you have to have mad and you purchase mad from MM Finance. That's where you can get mad at the cheapest price or really the only way you can really get mad right now, that's the only Dex that has mad. So in order to get mad, go to MM Finance and then pretty much you just use the exchange. So we see the price mechanics. So they said selling at below market clearing price ensures that it will be sold out quickly, but it also creates a race where only the fastest manage to grab a piece and a lot of people get left out. Well, they decided to go for the last price ducks auction. And that's what I was telling you guys. So it starts at 100, but it won't end at 100. So the mint price will start at 100 mad and will be reduced every five minutes until reaching a final price of 10 mad after two hours. The price of the final mint will be recorded as the final price and you will receive a refund equal to the difference between your mint price and the last mint price. So for example, if you mint at 50 mad and the last sale is at 20 mad, you will receive a 30 mad refund. So just because you say you pay or just because you start off at 100 mad doesn't mean you will actually pay 100 mad. That's just the starting bid price. So prices, you know, aren't definite. Of course, we already know that it's stuff changing in the crypto space. But for right now, that is what the price is. Then we see mad burning airdrops. So this is why it's so bullish for mad holders, man. A lot of people have been asking, why should I hold mad? And why, you know, get a treehouse to produce mad? Just because 50% of mad rays will be permanently burned. So that means that will be taken out of supply forever. You can't get that mad back. And we know it's only 15 million mad. And then we know with the future or the future auction with the mad meerkats or the digging mad meerkats we know the legendary ones when they do the auction that mad is going to be burned too just creating more value for the mad token and just raising that price up even in this bear market so we see 25 percent of mad will be airdropped to crow crow holders 25 percent will be sent to the crow team treasury you heard that right 25 percent for the crow crow holders so that means if we sold out at 50 mad you can potentially get 5.3 mad airdrop per crow you hold so if you currently hold 10 crow crows you will receive 53 mad simply for holding man so that's something else that's major if you already have crows they're paying you to pretty much hold your crows and they're going to pay you in mad then this is where it gets really really interesting because this is what caught my eye this is what really made me buy another crow to mint a mad crow. So utility, other than looking mad or other than being mad looking, collectibles, mad crows will be able to be staked on the forest staking platform to earn a 5% on Twig. So you can read more about the staking. I'm going to get more into the staking, but we might also add extra utility in the future. But uh, as always, we will never promise anything before we're 100% sure to execute it. So more royalties. Around one month ago, we deployed our royalty system that automatically distributes royalties to Crow Crow holders. And that's why I showed you guys. 
um, with that royalties on the Crow Crow actual website. So at the time, the smart contract has already received around 18K Crow, man. So that's something major, just easily getting paid. I know it's not just nothing right now, especially with Crow being so cheap, but you get paid to hold NFTs, man, and you can't beat that. So when Mint website goes live, now, so the Mint website is already live. That's why I just showed you guys. Then we see the minting starts on May 22nd. So in four days, then mad airdrops and refunds automatically triggered at the sellout. So you instantly get your refund and then reveal 48 hours after minting starts. So that's that. That's the information right there. That's why I really just became bullish on it because we see with the staking, we're going to have utility with it. We're going to have Twig. And I want to get into the staking portion as well. So a new token, Twig. Twig is the NATO token you get from staking Crow Crows. You'll be able to send your crows to the forest and they will slowly gather twigs. These twigs can be then spent for building nest NFT. So the token numbers for Twig are extremely straightforward. 100% comes from staking crows to the forest. The max supply of Twig is 10 million twigs. So it's going to be producing four twig per day depending on how many crows are staked the staking period will last for one to two years until the max supply is reached since 100 percent of the supply comes from staking we will have to set up our own liquidity pools as a community as the first tokens get minted our team currently owns 159 crows that will stake and use twig for this purpose additionally each account will be able to stake additional booster nfts to further increase their twig production so each booster nft will increase the production of all stake crows by a flat percentage max boosters per account five so you get five boosters per account and then it's two types of boosters right now you got the mad crow with five percent and then you got the crow punks with two percent so what does Twig do? So we know Twig, but what does it actually do? Well, let's get into the Nest NFTs. The main utility for Twig is building Nest NFTs. Nest NFTs will be used as our base layer for future breeding in the Crow Crow ecosystem. The total supply is 10,000 Crow Crow Nests, and the cost per mint is 500 Twig. So minting a Nest will burn the 500 Twig, which means 50% of all Twig supply will be permanently burned when all nests are minted. Wow, man. So that's something major. Let's just let's just debacle that real quick. Let's just talk about that. Now, one thing I must say, this is risky because they don't have or haven't announced anything about Twig being on a DEX or a Twig trying to get on Finance or VVS or any other DEX on the Kronos blockchain. So we don't know how it's going to necessarily turn out. Of course, I said that it's a community pool, but... I would want to see it on the decks, especially since the ML Finance and the Crow Crow team have already done work together um, in some sort of way, especially like with the Mad Books. I think it should and could possibly get listed on ML Finance, but that's just, you know, a future type of uh, prediction in my personal opinion. But like I said, this is still, still bullish, even though they haven't announced it yet or said it's going to be on the decks. I still believe this creates so much value, not only just for the twigs or for the crow nest, but just when people hear the possibility of the utility, people are going to, or it's going to raise the floor price for the crow crows and the mad crow. So when is this happening? Staking starts at the end of May, May 31st, and then CC nest mints start one week after staking starts. So that's why I'm getting in prepared early just to see, just to get my mad crow I got to get at least one, um, just at least one, man. I got to get one mad crow, and I'm good. You know, really, I might get two. I might just get two, be a digging get two, just because I didn't get a chance to get a digging mad meerkat. So I'm going to make for it on the crow, crow portion. And I believe it's going to continue to rise in value just because of the utility. So let's go to EB Sue's Bay. And like I said, this is where we can see, you know, pretty much floor price and everything of the mad crow. But let's check out my NFTs right quick. Let's just check them out. I just want to show you my crow, you know, just to show you what I got, show you what I got. So right now, why the image? Let's see. Now why is tweaking? Let's reload it real quick. So these are my NFT collection. You know, some of these are airdrop. We see the holiday crow. That's um, something that the crow team actually airdrop, man. So that was a free, a free a free nft man easy money but these are my two crow crows i got uh 1450 then i got 6114 so those are the two ones that i own 
um, so I can be able to actually purchase a Mad uh, Crow. So I just got the 6114 today. I think the floor price was like eight. I don't even want to guess this. Let's go and see what the floor price is. So we see these are currently the top projects on Kronos blockchain as far as NFTs. Um, and it's this as far as volume too. So not necessarily saying the most volume recently, but just period all in all. So we see coming in at 13 is Crow Crow. So let's click on that. Let's just see, man, what's the floor price? So currently floor price is 850. Um, I think it, around that it's like, I'm not sure. I don't even want to give you an estimate in USD. I think I paid like $175 for my Crow Crow. So not too bad compared to, you know, other projects at the top of the Kronos blockchain. Um, but I believe this can be very, very much so one of those projects that sneak up out of nowhere and just really take over because they have so much utility that they plan on dropping. And they've been keeping the community updated and really just following their uh, roadmap. So like I said, very excited to see the mint session in four days. But before I get out this video, I just want to show you something else that made me super bullish on the Crow Crow. And that is, you know, the volume produced. So we see the top NFT collections by weekly volume on EB Sue's Bay. And this was yesterday. And we can see Crow Crow coming in in fifth place with the top volume on the week. You know, coming in, not the top volume, but it's the fifth most transacted NFT on the Kronos blockchain as of right now. So very excited. People have been seeing, you know, the utility Crow Crow will bring. So I'm bullish. I see the Discord is bullish. A lot of people have been buying it. I'm ready to see what the mint process will be like. So that's my video for today. Just wanted to give you some alpha information on one of the top Kronos NFT collections and just the utility that they offer and so much more, man. And also, like I said, again, big shout out to EB Suits Bay. Y'all some real ones. Y'all, like I said, the best NFT project or i mean best nft marketplace in the crypto space on chronos all of that so that's my video for today if i provide a value to you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and also follow me on twitter crypto troll i'm out of here